what's cracking folks it's i cfk kuro here to bring you some more tew 2016 wcw it lives a game all right let's get right into the show so the show starts off with eric bischoff and jmar kujo in the ring uh basically this is eric's full spiel on the crockett cup um tag team tournament uh he mentions that since last night uh chuck palumbo and sean o'hare not sean o'hare chuck palumbo and sean stasiak that's going to get me every single time i should have kept his name as as a pride um they get a bye week they are not part of the first round of the tournament which will happen over the next three nitros but tonight's match as part of the tournament will be between the second city saints and America's Most Wanted. So, uh, I believe that goes in... No, that's not next, though. The first match starts off with Lash LaRoe and Van Hammer of the Misfits in Action taking on the League of Nations. Uh, an extremely short... Wait, did I say that? It was a draw in 4 minutes 44 seconds after Fit Finley ran in and attacked Lash LaRoe and uh, Van Hammer, and the referee ruled it a no contest. Uh, afterwards, Fit Finley continues to put the beating on Lash and Van, grabs a microphone, calls out Hugh Morris, who comes down, and the two have some more fisticuffs until referees and road agents and other wrestlers had to pull them apart. Booker T busts into Bischoff's office furious absolutely furious but Eric's not there it's just Jamar and the enforcers he demands to get his well first of all he wants to know how come the match last night didn't get thrown out for all the interference he's like I know you ain't blind I know the referee ain't blind what's the deal sucker uh and Jamar says unfortunately uh Booker I'm not allowed I'm, I, had, I don't have anything uh in regards to last night's match uh, for you, I would presume Mr. Bischoff does, but he decided to leave me with um, this task. Um, yeah. Uh, but, but okay. I have something that I can do for you. Uh, you will be granted your rematch at WCW Uncensored. Right? No, Slambury. The tag team tournament. Slambury? Super slam. <laughs> Whatever. Slambury. Uh, and there will be a stipulation to help you, so to, to prevent as much interference as it was in last night's match. You recognize that as a serious issue. And more importantly, next week I can get you a match with any member of Evolution. Uh, is that okay with you, sir? And... Booker's, you know, sticking over for a second. He's like, I dog, good luck. Um, then, in the first match of the Crockett Cup Tag Team Tournament, CC3T. 2C3T? 2C3T? Uh, and about that, he's in wrestling, but didn't have much heat. The second city Saints defeated America's Most Wanted in 759 when CM Punk defeated Chris Harris by submission with an arm triangle chuck. Uh, there's, ooh, who's improving? Cabana. That's nice. Whew. Talk about the artiste. We head to the dark room for an evil segment. Uh, Wrath is angry as always. He's always angry now. Always furious. Always enraged. He's become very unhinged recently. Not that he wasn't unhinged before, but since losing the belt and losing all the gold within his group, he's very, very much so lost it. Uh, he says that in the tag team tournament, greed and envy will be entering it and they will win it. And then once they win those belts back, he will win back his World Heavyweight Championship. The one that he deserves. The one that is his. The one that no one can take from me. 
him, him, me, who, first person, third person, whatever. Um, but he's 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 just very like, he's on edge. Uh, when Gluttony tries to put in one of his little corpse, corpse quips, uh, he gets put down very quickly by Wrath, uh, with very loud yelling. Wrath is. He's not in a good place right now. Continue. Leon Garcia is interviewing the Hurricane uh, after his defeat of Greed last night. He's the uh, he's still your WCW Cruiserweight Champion. Um, his leg is still sore, which is a bit of a problem. But he says he'll be will he'll be ready to face whoever it is that wins this upcoming uh, Cruiserweight Contendership match uh, at. Slambury. Yes. And so, in a bout that had decent wrestling, but little heat, Jamie Noble defeated Aguila, super crazy, an elite skipper in 11 11 uh, by elimination. In order of elimination, super crazy uh, was eliminated by elite skipper. Then elite skipper was eliminated by Noble, and then Noble eliminated Aguila. Backstage. Alex Wright is looking for Disco Inferno. He finally finds him. He asks him why he's been avoiding him and not returning any of his phone calls. And basically, it just comes down to, you know, these these foreigner guys come in and attack me, not you. You're a foreigner. And, you know, just saying... But Alex says, I had nothing to do with it. You have to believe me. I promise you. Just goes like, yeah. <sighs> All right, bud. And he walks out. And as he walks out the frame, Kaz and Lance walk back in. And they say, basically, join us. Join the foreign side. Ha, 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 ha. Without the over-the-top evilness. Because I don't think either of them talk like that. I could be wrong. But Lance seems a bit too serious for that. All right. Woo! Look at these good promos. Uh, Evolution are backstage. Uh, And AJ Styles is upset. Very upset. Basically saying, you know, Jeff, did you need Mark and Rick to help you out with your match? Couldn't one of them have helped me out with my match last night? And just like, look, Styles, remember your place in this, okay? And he goes through uh, a basically an ex- explanation of what evolution is. It's Ric Flair, the past, a legend, the greatest mind in WCW and wrestling history, okay? I am the current. I am the chosen one, Jeff Jarrett. Everything that happens in this company happens for me. All right. The championships go to me. The opportunities go to me because I am the one destined to run this to 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 to, to run this company. I, I'm I was born for this. This is my purpose in life. I am the evolution of the wrestling superstar, the the the, the wrestler. And Styles, you and Mark are the future. But remember, the future is not now. Okay? What's most important is that I stay on top. If I stay on top, then you guys will have the opportunities beneath me to learn, to grow, so that when the time comes, you two will be ready. Okay? So, for now, particularly last night, I had to get my stuff done. If you couldn't get yours done on your own, that's fine. You're still young. You have plenty of time. And your time is not yet. Understand? And Styles is somewhat upset. Uh, But Flair kind of like calms him down. And he basically says, Now look here, kid. You're phenomenal. All right. But remember, we got, we have a plan. You're going to stick to the plan, right? And Styles is like, yeah, I'll stick to the plan. Good. Woo! Uh, 
Um, decent match, filler match. Mark Jindrick defeats Animal and 738 by pinfall with a mock of perfection. And backstage, Rip Mysterio is showing up a little bit late to the Cont- Conti Forum. Uh, but as he gets out of his car, he is ambushed by AJ Styles, who attacks him viciously and puts his head through a, let's say, a car window. And leaves him uh, battered and broken. Alright. <sighs> the triple threat. Shane Douglas and Chavo Guerrero, along with Hernandez, uh, cut a promo about Shane's upcoming match tonight against uh, Sting for the WCW Television Championship. Shane Douglas, you know, franchise, my show. I should be on TV every single week. I should be the face of the show every single week. Nitro should just be changed to WCW Monday Night Franchise featuring Chavo and his crew. <laughs> Um, yeah, 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 this thing's going down. And then in our main event, and about that fantastic heat and great wrestling, Sting defeated Shane Douglas in 1633 by submission with a Scorpion Deathlock. During the match, we had Hernandez come in and accidentally hit the franchise. Sting makes fist number two of his WCW World Television title. Sting wasn't so good. Not really surprised. 85, best show because of two great angles, and I use more angles than I usually do. We'll have historically had. All right. Who's upset today? Nobody. Well, not nobody. Mike Awesome. Conan, who's gone in how many days? Let me just, let me, Conan, when are you you gone? You gone in, uh, oh no. Two days. Praise Akmak. All right, we'll be right back with Thursday Night Thunder. Hopefully, his contract will be out. Woo. All right, Thunder starts off with an average match, a short match. Uh, Envy, returning from his broken elbow, uh, defeats uh, the young Chad Collier in a uh, five thirteen by pinfall with a flying. Lariato. Afterwards, Envy is heading backstage when he runs into Wrath. Wrath basically says, you did well tonight, but remember, don't disappoint me again. You will win this tournament along with Reed. We will get back our goal. Do you understand me? And Envy's like, yeah, yeah, uh uh-huh, yeah, I understand. Continue. Uh, in an extremely short match, AJ Styles defeated Johnny Swinger in 527 with a spiral tap. Afterwards, AJ Styles cuts a promo about how he beat up Rey Mysterio. Says his injury should keep him out for a couple weeks. So in the meantime, why? how about WCW? Go ahead and vacate that United States title. Or heck, even better, just give it to me, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Because my time is now. And Ray's time was years ago. It's time for some new blood in WCW. Uh, but just then, Ray Mysterio actually comes out, granted, on crutches. He says, uh, Styles, if you want another shot at my U.S. title, well, you've got one. And it's going to be in a ladder match. Or something, I guess. Ladder match sounds fine. So there it goes. Styles, Mysterio, ladder match. Ah, uh, slambery. In a decent match, Chuck Palumbo defeated Disco Inferno in 8.02 by submission with a torture rack. Uh, midway through the match, Lance Storm comes out on the commentary and just watches, observes. Doesn't say much of anything. Uh, Disco Inferno notices it and he is distracted, which allows Chuck Palumbo to get the easy win. Uh, Lillian Garcia are interviewing Jamie Noble and Ilk Skipper along with Nidia uh, the upcoming tag team cruiserweight match in our main event uh, says Noble uh, you know that the champion 
as an injured knee, is that going to play into your game plan? Of course, Noble's like, of course it is. Uh, if his if his knee ain't doing good, um, gotta attack, gotta be vicious, gotta be aggressive. Ah, isn't that right, girl? And him and Nia kind of like flirt for a little bit. It was just like, look at these, look at these rednecks. Look at these. Whatever, I'm going in to win the match. That's what it is. I right, you dig, you feel. And in about that had decent wrestling, but didn't have much heat. Jamie Noble and James Maritato defeated Super Crazy and the Hurricane in 1035 when Noble defeated Super Crazy by pinfall with a diving leg drop. Hurricane was real good. Noble wasn't actually that good in this match, unfortunately. Hurricane's getting better. I think it's because Noble's more of a ground and pound guy, right? Uh, high morale. Low marker room morale, holding back inconsistency. Low heat for the story. Eh. And at the end of the show, he Morris comes out. Uh, basically just call you out Fit Finley, but Fit never shows up. So that's that. Too much noble. Huh. <laughs> you think that's too much noble? Get a load of this. There's nothing to be to get. 1.86. All right, that was a good week. Uh, next week we'll come back with some more WCW. It lives. Oh, by the way, quick uh, little note. Um, I made of might have made some edits to a uh, a pair of pay per view companies that I might be signed to, so that I can actually have ladder matches on pay per view. Because I think that fucking bullshit. But we'll get to that when we get to that. All right. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.